Welcome back to TIG Time. I'm Mr. TIG, and today we're going to talk about grinding your tungsten. Now, I have a 1 16th tungsten here, and it's ground to a point. And there is a right way and a wrong way to grind your tungsten, and that's what we're going to show you today. But also, I want to show you, I've got four methods of getting a sharp point on this tungsten, and there are several other ways, but I want to show you everything from very economical to a, a light industrial grinder to a, a heavy industrial grinder to actually field grinding. When I say grinding, this is a, a chemical. It doesn't actually grind, but it'll have a chemical reaction and it'll actually create a point on the end of your tungsten. And I'm going to show you my favorites. Let's get started with this one right here. This is a pedestal grinder that just about everybody has in their garage. You know, this, this can be purchased at any of the economy stores for, you know, about $50 or less. And should you use a grinding wheel? Well, actually, yes. It's, uh, it's used frequently. Now, if you'll notice the wheel on this, uh, you know, it's got probably a 60 grit wheel. Can we grind with it? The answer is yes. I prefer to put a 120 grit wheel on there, but we're going to show you you can get good results even with this. It's a really good idea to make sure that that wheel is used for tungsten grinding only. You don't want to have other metals, soft metals in there, or you may get some contamination on the end of your tungsten. So we're looking at a $50 investment and it'll do a good job for you. Now this little device right here, it's portable and it's about $300 and it has a little wheel inside that um, will probably give you up to, I don't know, maybe 500 grinds on one side and it wears out, you can turn it over and use the other side of the wheel. Uh, so you get a, maybe a thousand grinds out of it. And it all depends on what diameter tungsten you're grinding. Now I'm gonna move over here. This is my heavy duty version. Uh, this one is much more power, and I use it for more industrial use. And I can get probably 3,000 grinds out of this before I have to change the wheel. Uh, and the wheels are arguably $50 or so, so it's not a huge investment. Now, this little bottle right here is under $10, and I have a love-hate relationship with it. Uh, the love-hate relationship is that when you don't have grinders with you in the field, and you need to put a point on the end of your tungsten, this becomes your best friend. It creates a chemical reaction, and we're gonna show that to you in just a few minutes. But you've got, a, you've got a tungsten that you actually heat up, and you dip it in here, and the chemicals will start popping and sputtering, but it also gets up onto your torch and gets into your torch components. So that's the hate relationship. You gotta clean your components when you're finished. So let's get started, and we'll start grinding on this unit right here. Okay, I've got a 1 16th tungsten, and how many of you grind your tungsten this way? Using the wheel, visually being able to see this very, very well, and I'm putting it nice point on here but the problem is I've got the grind marks going the wrong direction this this is the wrong way okay never grind on the side of the wheel but the best way to get the angle and to get the grind marks going the right direction for you is just like this. And you can see I'm putting a little groove in the wheel. That's going to happen. But I'm, I'm twisting this as I'm grinding it. And visually I can see it very well. Okay, so I've got the grind marks going in the right direction and arc initiation will be at its peak because of that. You can see I've got, I've got a pretty good angle on there. And I'm 
pretty much finished with my grind. That's a decent grind. Now, I'm wearing safety glasses. I'm not terribly worried about the tungsten dust because tungsten is a heavy metal and the wheel is running downwards. Make sure you have good ventilation in your shop. Okay, I've got my uh, little PowerPoint grinder. Got my safety glasses on, and this little PowerPoint grinder um, operates off 115 volts. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my grind, get the point on, and at the very end of this tool, I'm gonna kiss off the end of the tungsten because this, this will put a very, very fine point on, and I wanna put just a slight flat when I finish. So here goes. Okay, I just kiss that off and Okay, I've got my industrial uh, tungsten grinder and it's got a few more features to it So I'm going to show those to you now uh, before I turn it on it makes a little bit of noise It uh, is definitely heavier duty, but it's actually got like a protractor built in so I don't have to guess what the angle is going to be it's going to tell me what it is. So I have preset the angle and it also has another little handy tool so I can actually chuck up my tungsten and use this as a turning device. And I'm going to do it both ways. I'm going to do it without the tool and by hand and see what the outcome is. Okay, I did finish uh, two of them absolutely identical uh, using the tungsten itself without the holder. You had a little better feel for getting the tungsten started, but uh, using this tool and the weight of the tool uh, allowed me only to have to spin it. So uh, it worked out very well. Okay, now we're going to use this chemical sharpener. And like I told you, it, uh, it'll activate, but it'll only activate if I can make this tungsten get a little bit red. Then I quickly dip it in here and it activates. I'll swirl it and it'll put a point on the end of the tungsten. So this is how it works. Okay, well you can see that the chemical reaction does put a very nice point on the end of your tungsten, but there's awful lot of residual on the end of the cup and still on the tungsten. That residual can be wiped off, cleaned off, but you have to take the tungsten out, and now you have to take your torch apart just so you can clean out the cup and the screens on the inside. So it works, but it's pretty messy. It's good for field applications. Okay, now that you've seen four different ways to grind your tungsten, uh, you, can, you can create all kinds of ways of grinding, but just make sure that you get your grinding marks in line. Thanks for watching TIG Time. I'm Mr. TIG.